Hey, it's Agbosa Shifty, and welcome back to the channel for another part of Life with Gabby New Beginnings. Now, as you all notice, we had a new title there in the beginning, and that is all thanks to Roxy1225. Roxy said, what about Life with Gabby New Beginnings as a, as a subtitle? Roxy said, I think after Alma passing away made Gabby realize she needs to make some changes, and not only with her in entering college, but becoming a young adult. I think this chapter of Gabby's life will be about new beginnings and I can't agree with you more. I feel like that is a perfect subtitle for Gabby's life and the stage of her life because, you know, she's going through some things emotionally and she's also trying to focus on her life and just be a better parent and now she's doing parenting primarily alone. Like, Marco doesn't really call. It's been a few months and he didn't even, like, call her to tell her sorry about her loss. I don't know if Marco's okay. She hasn't heard from him and, like I said, it's just no connection whatsoever. So, we don't even know if he's all right or stable or in a good place right now hopefully he is and I mean I guess Gabby will check in on him soon but right now she just realized like how precious life is and she's really just trying to be the best mom she can be and just focus on Aldo right now and making life better for him but guys I have so much to show you all I'm so excited and the first thing that we're going to start with obviously if you didn't see Gabby's makeover please go watch that because you get to see all her new outfits and her looks we're not going to touch base on those at all in this episode you'll just see it if she changes into it but um yeah i wanted to show you guys the house and also introduce you guys to her new roommate and her daughter so this is where gabby is living now the story behind this lot is it's a rich it's a rich family that rents out their home when um you know obviously they only come here for certain things or i assume that they live somewhere else but they rent out their home to college students and it's a all white all gray house and i did this because i wanted them to be able to live in here without you know saying one of them isn't in school i didn't want them to have to run into that issue where if they're not in school they can't live here so i just went ahead and made it a residential lot and we're gonna pretend and we're gonna pay rent and things like that and we are splitting the bill with our roommate nina you you guys will see here in a second but I wanted to show you guys upstairs so this is the upstairs and because this is someone else's house we can't really like fully make over the house at all but this is the shower upstairs and then this is Gabby's room I took a lot of time on Gabby's room I love this room we're actually just gonna turn on all the lights so you guys can see it but I love this room because we still have her little tip jar um, but we also just have a lot of things in here that are tailored towards her um, I guess her degree and her study here at the university and I do have custom content furniture now so if you're like I've never seen that before it's custom content it's by Harry I believe um and just really beautiful pieces and right next door is her son's room he does have a scouts board in here but I don't know if he's gonna pursue scouts because of the um personality trait I gave him but as you all heard he's very gloomy now and he kind of just stays in his room he does arts and crafts and he plays on his computer or his laptop and that's primarily it I needed to put a bed in here for Duchess as well in case Duchess wants to lay in Aldo's room and then they have like a little balcony here and obviously it's winter so we're probably not going to be out here very much and then downstairs this house oh my god it's so pretty again with the custom content furniture like guys if you don't have custom content furniture this is the way it's so cute like all this custom content and when the tv is off it's just a photo like what? <laughs> like those TVs in real life where you can just have a picture on the wall and then it turns into a television. Um, but yeah, this is our house with the um, custom content in the kitchen, dining room, living room, everywhere. And um, this is their little kitchen area. I wanted to have a computer for everyone in the house so they don't use Aldo's. So that's where everybody will be using the computer. Um, it has like this little walkway area and it has a whiteboard that they can write on. And then this is her roommate's room. Her roommate is also studying the same major. So they're both here and I think they're gonna bond over that and also just being teen moms <laughs> and this is her room and then this is her daughter's bathroom her daughter is um, a little different from her mother she's kind of quiet she really enjoys playing the violin and she doesn't really want to be like into fashion and things like that but her mom does dress her kind of fashion forwardy and um, yeah this is like their little entryway over here I probably should hop into creative sim just so you guys can see Nina to her full extent and her daughter as well so 
this is Nina. She's so pretty. It was actually a send that I already had in my gallery and I was like, you know what? She's perfect. And I just changed her up a little bit, gave her blue hair. And I think that she's perfect for a roommate for Gabby. Um, so let's go into cast so you guys can see her and her daughter's outfits. I'm not showing Gabby's. So you need to watch the video if you want to see those, but let's go ahead and look at hers. So as I mentioned, this is Nina. Now Nina's backstory with her baby daddy is they just don't talk. He's a terrible, terrible guy. And, um, she refuses to have her daughter around that energy. So kind of like the same situation as, um, Aldo, but her dad, um, what's her name? I forgot. Everly's dad didn't even try. She, he didn't even try. Like, you know how Marco had the apartment and everything? Like, her dad didn't even come around. So he's just non-existent. <laughs> and um, Nina's just been doing the thing and taking care of her daughter this whole time. And I just, I honor that so much. And this is her formal wear. Look at these outfits. You can definitely tell that she's a very fashion forward type of sim. And she has these really cute workout outfits. I love her style so much. It's kind of similar to Gabby's, but it also has that flair. This is by far my favorite outfit guys i love this so much and i was really hesitant to use the fishnets but now that i look at it i feel like it's so perfect for her we also have her swimwear and hot weather wear also one of my favorite looks i mean if you don't love nina at this point <laughs> what are you doing she's so cute and then we have her cold weather which is just really simple i feel like everybody dresses pretty simple in the winter like let's just stay warm um now let's see her daughter everly everly is so precious like i said her mom tries to make her very fashion forward but she just could care less <laughs> this is everly's everyday outfit we have her formal her athletic sleepwear uh party wear swimwear, hot weather wear. I love this. So cute. And then her two winter wear outfits. I feel like this is more her style, but then her mom's like, here's a nice coat. Wear it, honey. <laughs> um, as you can see, she's a perfectionist and she's a social butterfly. So she's going to be wanting to talk to Aldo a whole bunch and Aldo's going to be like, please stop talking to me. But she's a perfectionist. She just really wants to please her mom. You know, her, she's watched her mom work really hard to raise her and she just wants to make her mom happy as well. So Everly is just striding for perfection now. She hopes to have the best grades and be excellent at playing her violin and she just wants to make her mom proud and I just, I adore her. She's so cute. But for this episode, I figured that we would go ahead and just see if Gabby got her acceptance letter today. So she has already applied for university and they're going to to be attending Foxbury. Oh my god, Diego. What did Diego just say? Did he just say he wanted to go on a date? <gasps> Oh my gosh. Oh no. I don't think that that's good right now because Gabby's still struggling with things right now. And so is Aldo. Aldo just like, they can't be bothered. They just want to be left alone. I'm actually going to have Aldo kind of do his homework, but not really do it fully. Um, just because I don't want him to fail completely. So I'm just going to have him do it a little bit. Um, I could see him probably slacking for right now just because he's so distracted and everything. And I know a lot of you guys wanted, um, Marco to seek counseling. Don't worry that is coming. He's alive. He's not gone or anything, but he just isn't talking to Gabby. So we don't really know like what he has going on or anything like that, but hopefully he's all right. Um, but I, I will see him going into, um, hopefully counseling very soon and maybe he'll even take some counseling with Gabby. We'll just have to see. I don't even know if she really wants a future with Marco now. She's just been so sad lately, guys. Like, look, all she does is go in her bed and cry. We have these pictures of, um... Marco in here, but I don't even think we're gonna, um, keep them. She'll probably trash them and all these pictures of her friends. She hasn't even had time to hang them up. It's just so sad to see her upset like this. Oh my God, my heart. Duchess came in here because Duchess was like trying to love on Gabby. She heard her crying. <laughs> Duchess is such a good dog. I love her. Oh, she's like, mommy, don't cry. Mommy, don't cry. Oh, <laughs> look at her. I love her. Oh, can we give confined problems to? Yes, go talk to Duchess, honey. So if you guys are wondering why Aldo isn't in school, even though it's been a few months, he's still been struggling a lot with the loss of Alma. And Gabby has expressed that to the school. And she's like, hey, my son's just having, you know, a hard time with his grandmother's passing. And I was just making sure it's okay if he just missed a few days of school. And they were totally fine with it. They understood because, you know, Aldo hadn't been socializing with the other kids. He's been very 
very closed off and quiet and um, they just want him to feel good and be in a good place and I really want Aldo just to be himself again I feel so bad that he's not the same happy toddler now he's just so sad but um, yeah we'll hopefully get Aldo into talking to someone as well I feel like that would definitely help and his sadness stems from the fact that he lost his Alma and the fact that his dad isn't around he doesn't understand why his parents aren't together and he doesn't understand why his dad doesn't come around as much as he should so it just kind of upsets him but I need to check my application status I don't know how long this is gonna take Gabby is feeling her body after that cake oh my god that's funny um oh no that's Aldo let me click on Gabby there we go and we're gonna come over here and see if we can you know see if our application has been approved just yet I hope it has because I really want to get her into college and get started with her her degree because I'm just I'm ink I'm just bright I'm ready for Gabby to start succeeding in life and just chasing her dreams hopefully yes please be yes <laughs> Oh my god, the application is still going through the system. Check back soon. So frustrating. It's like when I was trying to get my financial aid and I was waiting and waiting and it just took forever for it to come through. I was getting so frustrated. But guys, I am going to time skip a little bit because I know that this gets very boring waiting and waiting and waiting. So um, I will check back with you guys in a few. So guys, it is the next day. It is Saturday and I, oh my god, I was fast motion. I just checked the application status and Gabby is actually still waiting for the application to go through for her college um college application why does that sound weird she's still waiting for her college application to go through and to be approved um but it was snowing just a little bit ago and now it's not I was actually going to go outside and make a snowman with um Aldo but there's no snow. Like, look at this. <laughs> it's melting. Um, but you guys didn't get to see it. Gabby's friend actually stopped by and wanted to check on her, Diego. He came by and he wanted to see if she was okay and how she was doing. And she got kind of frustrated with him because he was saying he understood. And she's like, no, you don't. Da, 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 da. But, um, you know, he, he's trying to understand. That's the thing. He didn't mean to say, oh, I understand where you're coming from. But he was trying to say, I understand, I guess, your level of sadness because he's been sad before and he's been that upset and actually where is Aldo I need to check on him oh he's outside having lunch with the girls I love this <laughs> like they're out here just enjoying their new year's it does new year's eve by the way I forgot to mention that they're just out here enjoying themselves and I just love how close Nina and her daughter Everly are they are just so precious and um yeah he just came out here to hang out with them are you hot what's going on is Aldo sick I think Aldo might have a cold. Oh no. Oh. But yeah, I figured that we could just have like a New Year's party and have the countdown and everything like that with just the people in the household. I don't know if we're actually going to make it to university in this episode. It'll probably just be um, like... A little tease. I thought this was somebody that we knew, but it's not. It's just Dirk Dreamer. But um, we'll probably just have to show that Gabby gets accepted into university. I really wanted to take her to university in this episode, but I don't want it to be too long. Um, but we'll definitely have to hopefully be able to show her getting accepted. But we are going to have a New Year's Eve little shindig and um, just have them party together. I also need to have Everly come in here and do her homework. I love Gabby's new look. Seeing this icon down here, she just looks so sophisticated. I love her. <laughs> um, Aldo's over here trying to clean up and help. This is what he used to do with Alma. Even though he was a little toddler, he used to help her out a little bit. And Aldo is sick. Oh my gosh. Let's order our baby some medicine. Gabby's up here taking a nap. And lately, she's been... Oh, she's sick too. She's been outside practicing dribbling and stuff. Um, let's go over to this computer and actually order some medicine for Gabby. And then we will order some medicine for um, Aldo as well. I can't believe they're both sick. So I wonder if they um, got sick before they came here or what? Because if they're sick, Nina's going to be sick soon too. Um, let's go ahead and order his medicine also and get them to feeling better because, oh my god, nobody wants to be sick, especially on New Year's when everybody else is like trying to have fun and you're, you know, you want to have fun too? Like, no, we're not trying to be sick today. Um, but they had made some 
I don't know how to pronounce this, Bilot. I hope I said that right. <laughs> um, so I'm going to put this in the kitchen in case anybody else wants to grab a serving of that. I think that Aldo actually just ate with him outside, so he's good. But is Gabby hungry? She is. So I'm going to have her grab a serving of this. She was actually on her way to get some. She's happy now. After having um, her friend come by and check on her, I don't know why everybody eats outside. Y'all can literally eat inside at the table. So it's officially later in the night, and Gabby has been in the kitchen just cooking up a storm. She has made some New Year's Eve dishes. We have some chosen salsa. We have a raspberry pie. And then she's also making fish tacos currently. Um, it looks like Nina actually helped herself to some of the salsa, uh, chips and salsa. And I'm going to have the kids. They're kind of laying down in bed. So I'm going to let them nap a little bit. And oh, she's up now. So <laughs> we'll just grab her a serving. Um, but the kids, I guess, were getting sleep so they could actually watch the ball drop. And I'm going to have them come in and get some food oh my god gabby what happened what happened oh no oh my gosh i have never seen that happen before oh my gosh <laughs> the pan was literally on fire and she was just slinging it oh no i don't think that's how you put a fire out she started beating it <laughs> But now we have some fish tacos to add to the table as well. I hope that everybody gets something from the dishes that Gabby has made. She worked really hard today and she's tired too. Everybody was just not ready to stay up for this New Year's Eve countdown. Come on guys, we're supposed to be partying. Um, Aldo for once is not feeling sad. Um, he's starting to feel a little bit chipper and he's, uh, getting so excited. Look, she already has the countdown on the TV. So, um, maybe we can all gather around the chair, gather around on the couch and watch the New Year's Eve TV station. I am so excited to welcome in the new year with our new friends. And it looks like even Aldo is starting to get close to little Everly. I'm going to have him, um, talk about school with her. Oh no, he walked away. Hot daydreaming what nina's head remembers diego oh, no are you serious oh my god guys what are we gonna do diego likes gabby but what if nina and diego start dating oh no it says nina's head remembers diego farley fondly as memories of him being began to populate their mind the task at hand is just an afterthought as qualities of diego manifest themselves as strong echoes that bring nina intense amounts of joy their encounter last time was too brief and now nina is thirsty for more guys nina likes diego I saw it pop up when he came around, but I was like, there's no way. There's no way she saw, like, Diego attracted. Maybe it was the naked guy that was running out of our house. <laughs> Which, by the way, guys, there was a naked man running through our house. I don't know if it's because we live next to the school or what. But, um, Gabby kind of likes Diego, too. Like, it's a pinch, but she likes Diego. So, oh my gosh, we already have drama. This LP literally just tells itself. I tell you guys that all the time. I have no idea what we're gonna do like what if da oh no oh no guys i have no idea Duh. i guess we wait and we play it out right because diego likes gabby but i don't want to cause friction and problems between gabby and nina but nina literally only likes diego because she was overhearing like how he was so caring for gabby and just the way he looked she doesn't personally know anything about him Oh my gosh, I am literally so upset. I'm so torn. I hope you guys can actually hear the um, excitement and emotion in my voice. Ah! Oh no, that's terrible. I have no idea what to do. I know it's not happening right now, so I don't have to worry, but still. Scared of monster. Oh, poor baby. But oh no. I was about to invite Diego over for the countdown. <laughs> Let's invite him and see what happens. Am I really about to do this? Invite to hang out at current lot. <laughs> Where's Diego? Oh my god, look at our parents. They went to the game, I guess. Because <laughs> they're all decked out in pride. Um, like school pride. Let's invite Diego over. Oh my gosh. Everly came upstairs and she was like, Hey, hey, the countdown's about to happen, Gabby. You should come downstairs. We're we're so close to a new year. Aw. Let's see if Diego's coming. Is he coming? We'll be right over. Stop. Oh no, Diego. Diego, you have no idea. <laughs> he has no idea. Um, 
I'm going to give him a residence key also that way so he can just pop up more because I really want to see what comes from this guys because she found Diego attractive but Diego did not say anything to her and look at him he's going in for a hug he's like Gabby that hug was great let me hug you one more time like Diego is in love with Gabby oh no but is being in love with him and like she not giving him the time of day is he eventually just going to try to date Nina is Nina going to ask for Gabby's blessing or is like Diego going to ask for Gabby's blessing? This is so crazy. Um, I want to sit on the couch and watch the countdown together. Maybe we can even um, mention knowledge seeking nature. Okay. Um, I want to celebrate the New Year's with him as well. She keeps trying to go upstairs. I hate that she's doing that. Let's blow horns together. What is this that she wants to do? Woohoo with Diego. Oh my God guys <laughs> what we are so conflicted right now oh my god i really hope that you guys leave your comments and stuff because i have no idea what to do attractive memory stop it <laughs> she wants to woohoo with <laughs> uh, a lot of me wants to let her like <laughs> they already shared a kiss let's give a new year's toast she's like thank you so much for being my best friend and always being around. I really appreciate you. And oh, Gabby, I love her. She's like, I just really, I'm so thankful to have you in my life. Oh, she's so sweet. I love her. Oh my gosh. What are we going to do? Oh my God. How crazy is this? Like Gabby's life is finally going well and she's in call. Well, not finally going well, but everything's starting to go into the direction that it needs to. And she's living in this new place, going to college. And, you know, she doesn't have Marco stressing her out and Diego and her are getting closer, but now her roommate. Oh my gosh. What are we going to do? Let's watch the countdown guys. It's almost time. Diego, stop talking. <gasps> yes. Oh my God. He keeps staring at her. He's like, I'm going to get up and I'm going to kiss her. I'm going to kiss her when the ball drops. Oh my God. The way he looks at her. Oh, goodness gracious, y'all. I am torn. Oh my God. He's sitting right next to her. Or he's standing next to her. Oh no. They're literally right beside each other. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. <laughs> Gabby's like, I can't hang, y'all. Yay! Happy New Year! Oh my god. After the ball dropped, he came over here and he hugged her. But I looked over and Nina was so close. I have no idea what's happening. I guess she's hugging her daughter. Oh, he's feeling flirty. Oh my god. Alright, so like I said, I was going to give him a residence key. So now Diego has a key to our house. And he can come over and visit us whenever he wants. But, oh my god, they're so smitten by each other. But poor Nina. Nina likes Diego. Oh my god. I'm sorry I keep talking about it, but I'm really just like lost for words right now. Oh my god. Let's hug. Oh, where's Diego? I know it's like a computer, but that just like very suspicious. <laughs> oh my god. We'll see what happens throughout the night. But guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this part right here. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, comment down below, and let leave me. Oh my god. 100%. Leave your suggestions, comments, theories, and everything like that on Nina's feelings towards Diego and what you all think is going to happen with the situation because oh no. Oh no. Gabby's really starting to like Diego. Like, send help. <laughs> because thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, like I said, leave a like, comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe. And I will talk to you all very soon. Bye, guys.